What's up, y'all? It's that time, man. It is time to get down and dirty with some of this brass we got in front of us. So, uh, as y'all see, I got several things working here. Uh, this brass is, I mean, it's it's tarnished, buddy. Uh, like, I don't, y'all probably seen it in, I've showed it in a couple of my other videos, but well, you can literally, I've had some people ask me if I'm sure this wasn't, if I was sure this was brass and not steel. That That's how, that's how tarnished it is. But some of them, as you can see, it, it's definitely brass, but... This stuff has been sitting out on my little personal range literally uh, about four years, probably more. Some of it more than four years. So uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. We're going to see. This is going to prove to us just how how tarnished the brass can be before we can bring it back. Because uh, uh, this stuff, ain't, it ain't so much dirty, but it's just tarnished beyond belief, as y'all can see. Um, I picked it up. Now, it was dirty. Don't get me wrong. It was muddy as, as anything. But I... Uh, I already rolled it around in a five gallon bucket by hand with some Dawn and uh, got the got the mud and the dirt off of it. So now it's it's basically just tarnished as you I mean as you can see this stuff's almost black some of it. So we're gonna see what we can do. So obviously I got my Frankfurt Arsenal tumbler over there. We're gonna put that thing to work. Got several little things I want to try here. I've got the tried and true Dawn and Lemmy Shine. We're gonna go with that for the first batch. Uh, got my steel pins. I'm definitely going to use them because these are definitely going to be needed. But I've also got several other little things here. Got some grease lightning, some crud cutter. Uh, I've heard some people using both of those sometimes to get real nasty stuff done and to clean off the residue after some of this nasty stuff is run. Got some car washing wax. This was just an old cheap Walmart car washing wax. Two bucks for that whole big old jug of it. So we might try that towards the end. Uh, and I also picked up some jet dry because i've heard people mentioning using this too uh, because right now i don't i'm not i didn't buy a, a dehydrator or anything like that to dry this brass with so this first batch i'm just going to let it dry out in the sun uh, so i figured i might use a little of this jet dry in my last cycle of this stuff and uh try to keep it from spotting and all that while it's drying so may, none of this stuff may be needed y'all probably thinking this guy's out of his mind we're using all this crap but we're going to do a little experiment and we also got the the little brass cleaning solution sample that come with the tumbler so i'll probably use that too uh may not use that on the 556 five, I, I got nine millimeter that's uh basically the same same condition as this too so this 556 five, is going to be our test our little test subject here for sure so i think on my first round what i'm gonna do is uh I'm going to do most of this. I got a whole bucket of this. I'm going to do most of this 5.56. Five, I'm just going to use the Dawn and the Lemmy Shine and my pins for right now. And I think I'm going to run it on just an hour cycle uh, and then check on it and see what it's looking like. Dump that old nasty water out and uh, so it's not just sitting there spinning for hours in that funky nasty water. So we're going to do it an hour at a time. I'm going to dump it and then we're going to go from there. But let me get, get some of this out of the way and let's see if we can get this thing loaded up. All right, got us, a, got us a little bit of air to work with here, see what we can get doing here. Um, the max capacity on this thing says 30 pounds. That's loaded with all your media, your water, your, your cases and everything. So 30 pound max working capacity on this thing. So uh, I took my little fish scale here and I actually, I pre-weighed everything. I filled this up with some water and, and weighed it and uh, weighed my brass and my, uh, my, my media here. And we should be right at 25 pounds once it's all said and done. But we'll, we'll give it another weigh in here in just a second. I'm going to load some, some stuff up here and then we're going to move over to the sink and uh, get some water in it and then put our cleaning stuff in it. So I know... <laughs> I know some people say these pins are a nightmare, but I'm pretty sure I got no choice but to but to use them for this batch right here. Because uh, as y'all can see, it's, it's rough, man. I'm gonna save this little this little bit of sample here for a, a after so we can compare them. But let's dump our dump our steel pins in there. Five pounds of these little suckers. And these did come with the meteor. They come with the big one if you buy the big tumbler. So. That was good. So we got our media in there, and uh, we're gonna load this load this brass in there. All right, we got our steel pins and our. Uh, I know you ain't gonna be able to see it real good. Steel pins and our brass in there. So let's move over to the sink. Let's get this baby filled up with some water and some cleaning solution. All right, got us over here at the sink. My microphone's kind of in a funky direction, so I hope y'all can hear me on this. I think y'all should be able to. Got us in the bucket just so I can weigh it again once we uh, get our, our everything filled up. I have a little handle to put my fish scale on, but we're going to go with nothing but hot water in this sucker. I'm going to fill it up to about right in here is what the, what the uh, well, they say all the way to the bottom of the, uh, of, the, of the lip here where your 
three it starts. So let's let's go on and do what they say, I guess. All right, there we go. Full of nothing but hot water. Give us a little little squirt of dawn here. About uh, about like that, I think, for now. Like I say, we only gonna run this one hour, and then we're gonna do a little uh, we're gonna do a water change on it. So a little bit of lemon shine, probably. I'm gonna say about like that for right now. Y'all tell me if you think that's too much, too little, whatever. I'm new at this whole game, so I think that should be good since I'm only letting it run an hour and changing it anyway. Uh, then we're gonna put our top back on. I think I left my top. Now here it is, right here. So we're gonna get this sucker nice and tight. All right, y'all got our tumbler in the sink, uh, our motor and our, our jug on it, got her plugged in. We're gonna set it for one hour. Like I say, I'm gonna do it in this side, this utility sink, just in case, since this is the first time I've used this, uh, in case I, I shook it around and jostled it, rolled it around, and it wasn't no kind of leaks, but I don't wanna take no chances being this is the first time out for it, so that way I don't have to keep a close eye on it. So we're gonna set her for one hour, and then we're gonna let it roll, and then once I come back, we'll dump it out and see what we're looking like. All right, y'all, Tumblr has just turned off, so it's been one hour, so let's uh, let's get this stuff out of the way, and let's take a peek and see what we got here. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not expecting a whole lot of difference. Um, I'm, I'm skeptical, to be honest, whether this is going to come clean, period, or not, and I'm definitely not expecting a whole lot of difference uh, just from one hour, so we'll see, though. We'll see what's going on here. Um, so right now I'm just going to, I'm not dumping this whole thing, so I'm just going to use my little really fine pan to catch any cans. I think what I'm just going to do is uh, check them out, see what they're looking like, and uh, rinse rinse them down a little bit good. I'm not even going to dump everything out of here because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on for another cycle immediately. So we'll see what we get. Let's see what we got in here. Really curious to see. That water is nasty, buddy. Man, that's nasty stuff. Let's let's do this a handful of see what we got. Okay, okay. Alright, so it is definitely turning. It's turning colors for sure. I don't know how well y'all be able to see. It's definitely turning back to a brass-like color. <laughs> uh, there's some. Uh, there's a couple of those that were already pretty clean. Those are looking nice. These definitely have a lot of work to go, man. Like no doubt about that. So, but honestly, it's. I'm I'm getting a little little more hope now that we might can save these things. So, yeah, getting a little bit more hope there. Give these things rinsed a little bit, try to get some of that nasty water out of them. Get some of this funky water out. They're definitely they're definitely a lighter shade uh, than they were when we first put them in. But they, they need a whole lot more work, man. I'll really be surprised if we can get them shiny, shiny. I really will, man. I'm still, I'm still skeptical that we, that these things are actually going to come out shiny again. But I don't know. I could be wrong. We'll see, man. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, this this little strainer is actually pretty nice. So we're going to do another another batch here. It didn't have any leaks at all, so I probably don't need to run this thing in the sink like I'm doing. But I guess it's better safe than sorry. Do about all right. That was that was definitely more than what we had last time. Whoops, dumping crap everywhere. A little bit more lemon shine too. Put our lid back on. Get that thing tight now, nice and tight again. All right. Got it all. Got it all loaded back up. Got them back in there, sealed up real good. Didn't look like we had any leaks at all. So I think this time I'm gonna run it for two hours. This time we'll we'll bump it up this time. See what kind of results we got. So let's set it up. Two hours. All right, y'all. Timer's gone off again. So still warm in there too. So this is after uh, this is after the second two-hour tumble here. So this is a total of three hours. So 
Let's see what we got in here. Good God, that's some nasty looking stuff in there. I can tell you that. Let me get this out of the way. All right, let's crack her open. See what we're looking at. See what we're looking at here after three total hours. So yeah, as y'all know, this was the first one I run for an hour and re put some fresh water and cleaning solution. And this is a this is the two hour one here. So a total of three hours, like I say. Ooh, God, that's some nasty stuff. Look at that. That's after three hours, and it's still that doggone nasty that water. Let's see what we got. Oh wow, guys, look at that. Wow, that is amazing. I don't know how good that's coming through on the camera. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Look at this brass. That is insane. Man, I can't even, I don't know how good that's coming through on the camera, but Dudes, guys, look at this brass. Look at how clean this brass already is. It's still got some speckles on it, so I'm going to run it through another cycle. But, oh, my goodness gracious, guys. Wow. That's actually amazing. That that amazes me right there, man. I, I'm a believer now. Now, I'm a believer now, man. Wow. That is that is actually impressive right there. That's really impressive. I mean that that is actually that that's actually unbelievable right there. That really is unbelievable, guys. I know it's probably some of y'all that's clean brass up before this nasty is probably like ain't no big deal, but oh my goodness, guys, that is that's unbelievable, man. That that to me is absolutely unbelievable. Wow. I mean wow man, look at that brass. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. Alright, let's 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 finish rinsing here. I'm getting too excited over some clean brass. Man, that's that's crazy. That's unbelievable. That blows my mind, man. I can't I really can't believe that. I was I, I was expecting the worst out of this brass. I didn't think it was gonna come clean, period, to be honest with you. That's insane. This brass is super clean already, but there are a couple pieces, a uh, few pieces here and there that's not quite where it needs to be. Uh, so let's let's do another dawn for sure. Alright, we've got our dawn. And I think I'm going to do, on this one, I think I'll do a little bit of Lemmy Shine again. Not much. A little bit of Lemmy Shine again. And then I think we're just going to go ahead and do another two hour one. Alright, got her, got her ready to roll again. So like I said, that's at three so far. We did a one hour, a two hour. We're going to set this for another two. So we'll set this for two hours and then we'll come back again. All right, y'all, back out here again. This one's done. This this two-hour cycle's done, man. That water's still nice and warm in there, too. So that was two hours done on this one. So that's a total right now of five hours. So let's let's open this bad boy and see what we got going. All right, let's see what they look like. Man, they was already looking really nice before I even ran this last two hours. So this one should be looking super good. Uh, there was just a, a few of them in there that still wasn't quite up to snuff. So... I, I got a feeling this right here did what we needed, but we still gonna do a final hour regardless. Um, let's see what let's see what these bad boys look like. Nasty water again. I don't know. If, give us a rinse and see what it's looking like. Ooh, that's hot water. Man, that brass looks good, man. Holy moly, dude. That brass looks freaking good, guys. I don't know how good y'all can see that. That brass looks nice, man. I know one thing. This brass looks completely different than it did when, when we started. Keep rinsing, and then I'm going to uh, we're going to do one 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 hour next. I'm going to do it with Dawn and Jet Dry. All right. Do us another another shot of dawn here. Not that much. And then we're just gonna do us a little little old bit of jet dry here. So let's say about about that much. Alright, since I'm pretty confident uh, we're not gonna have any leak in here, 
um, I moved it over here back over to my bench. One reason I did that is because you guys let me know if uh, people who have this tumbler, do y'all see some wear on your rubber rollers here? I'm seeing a, I don't know if you can notice over here, but there's like a, this was over here. I'm thinking that that sink, where the way it's uh, angled inside the base there, where it, so it can drain. Maybe I was sitting a little uneven and it was pushing my roller up against the side. But honestly, even on the flat parts of the rollers, I'm seeing some wear on my rubber. Is that is that something you guys see? Is that kind of normal? Uh, I mean, it's not a huge amount, but it's it's more than I'd kind of like to see. So y'all let me know, people who've used this, let me know if you see wear on your rubber rollers like that from using this thing. But anyway, I feel pretty confident it's not going to leak after using it now for five hours. So we're going to do one more hour on this. Again, this was the Dawn and the Jet Dry. So one hour, and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll see what we got as a finished product. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we are again. So uh, had some uh, had something interesting happen, I guess you could say. Um, as y'all seen uh, before, I started just running for this hour. Uh, I put Dawn and uh, Jet Dry in this thing, and I can tell you right now, don't ever use Jet Dry. I, I got the idea from Jet Dry off of some stuff I was reading. People had used it before. Um, but I put that jet dry in here and literally within about 15 minutes that my brass had turned almost back to this state right here. I mean, it, it was almost back to where I started. It tarnished it so bad. I mean, it, it almost completely turned it just like it was within 15 minutes. It tarnished it that bad. And I didn't use much. Y'all seen the, how much I squirted in there. So it's not like I, I put a, a crazy amount of it. Uh, I'll never use that stuff again. That that was that was the worst decision I ever made was using Jet Dry. Um, so I didn't even get any footage of it because I panicked so bad. I was like, oh my god, I've spent five hours already, and here I am just ruined this brass. Um, but so I, I dumped that all out, rinsed it out real good. I mean, it looked totally. It looked like it was color case hardened. It looked that tarnished. So now in this, I immediately put Dawn and some Lemon Shine back in here. So we're going to go over to the sink. This has been running an hour, and we're going to see if it, if it brought it back and what's going on with it. All right, so let's see what we got. I can already tell you by just looking through the glass when I picked this uh, up off the rollers that it definitely got it back into shape. If I, I wish I would have. Like I said, I was in such a panic, I, I didn't even want to take time to even video this stuff. It was because, you know, I wanted to get it neutralized or whatever as fast as possible. But, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. It, it literally turned the stuff almost back to where it was. But I think we're looking good again. And you can see, look at all that tarnish you got back off of it again, that water. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Back in business, man. Oh, thank goodness, man. I'm telling you, I was I was almost in a panic, man. That's crazy. There are a couple. Now, if I wouldn't have done that messed up with that jet dry, I would call this done. And I probably could call this done right now. But there's a couple pieces that's got a little couple little spots here and there. Uh, and that's probably my doing from the jet dry. So I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to give it one more uh, one hour tumble with the uh, Dawn and Lemmy Shine because I know that's safe. So we're going to do one more one hour tumble with the Dawn and Lemmy Shine and then we'll see what we end up with. All right, y'all, here we are. This final hour is done and I can just see through the window that it's looking amazing and the water looks pretty doggone clear after this one. So we're going to take it over to the sink and dump it out and see what we got. All right, y'all, here we go. The, the moment of truth. Oh yeah, water's pretty clear. Yeah, this is nice here. This is definitely it. Definitely the final one here. But, oh man, this brass looks amazing, guys. I mean amazing. I'll definitely, once I get it rinsed off, I'll, I'll get some pictures of them and show you guys. Alright, so I'm not going to show this whole process and bore you guys with sifting brass, but got it rinsed out pretty good, so we'll do about half of this at a time, I think. So yeah, the purpose of these trays, as you can see, is the top one catches all my brass and then that small bottom one will catch the pin. So, I mean, this brass, this brass looks amazing. I mean, it's, it is night and day. It's just hard to believe, it's really hard to believe that this is that black colored tarnished brass.
Y'all look at this brass. Look at this brass. This looks absolutely amazing. It's, it's going to be hard to pick up on this wide angle camera even, but look at that brass guys from that to that. That is freaking amazing, man. That's that's way better than I was hoping for. Like I, I would have never have dreamed I could have got from that to that. I'm always it's hard to pick up on this wide action, so I'm gonna probably stick a couple of steel pictures in here close up just to show you. I mean, this brass is amazing. I mean, the primer pockets are clean, it, like brand new, man. Like this is amazing. All right, y'all, this is what I'm gonna do to, for my first time drying here. I'm just gonna air dry them. I'm gonna turn the fan on. I'll be honest with you, these things are almost already dry. I had the water scalding hot, so to be honest with you, these things are almost completely dry already. I mean, the inside is shiny as, as the, the inside is just as shiny as the outside. Like, I can't even describe how nice these cases are. But these cases are amazing, man. So I'm gonna turn the fan on to them and, uh, just run them for, I'll probably just run them overnight at this point. All right, y'all, here you go. The finished product, man. Look how amazing this brass looks. This is what we started with. This black tarnished all to pieces brass. And look at what we got, man. I mean, absolutely beautiful brass. Shiny, smooth, super clean. Uh, I mean, it's hard to even, it, it, I know this is not going to come through on camera, but even the primer pockets are completely spotless and shiny clean. Inside is just as shiny and clean as the outside. This brass looks amazing. This is well above what I was hoping to get out of this brass. I'll be honest with you. Um, but as y'all see, it, it took quite a while tumbling. Uh, and this is about seven hours worth of wet tumbling. Now, granted, I probably didn't have to go this long, and an hour of it was for me with this jet dry. And the, the biggest thing I can say out of this whole experience is don't ever use this jet dry. Um, I wish I would have took took a minute and filmed and showed y'all what it looked like. But like I say, I panicked so bad with that stuff. I wanted to get it neutralized or whatever. Uh, but it just completely tarnished it. I mean, it, it, it almost went back to this black state right here. It, it literally looked like something that had color, been color case hardened. Some swirls of rainbows and tarnish just all over it. Uh, but luckily, the dawn and lemmy shine brought it back back. So the biggest thing I can say, like I say, don't ever use this jet dry mess. And keep it simple, stupid. Like the old simple saying goes, keep it simple, stupid. Y'all saw all that mess I had laid out here was going to try dawn and lemmy shine is all it took so so definitely learn lesson learned keep it simple uh because as y'all can see man this stuff looks amazing uh there are a, there were a, a few pieces here like about four there's a couple other little pieces that not quite this but they're kind of still kind of a little off colored and a little rough to the surface so we'll probably still try to uh use those uh, because like I think I mentioned before after I do my sizing and everything I'm actually gonna run these through the uh, the vibratory tumbler too to get the clean to get the uh, Sizing lube and everything off and get them just one last shine up But man, I think it came out amazing So definitely like I say what I can say is is keep it simple dawn and lemme shine did the trick and I will say that I, I a Magnet the pins weren't bad at all with that with those strainers. I think those strainers. I'm, I'm definitely glad I picked those up Those were the way to go um, You can see I had a little handful of pins. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can see them there but this is just a little old parts tray magnet I've had lay around, put it in a plastic bag. You don't need to go out and buy no special magnet. I mean, you definitely, I would say after this, a magnet is is kind of a must have if you're gonna fool with these pins just to pick them up because they hard to pick these little suckers up by hand. So, but you ain't gotta go out and spend money on no special magnet if you got magnets of any kind laying around, throw them in a, a Ziploc bag and you good to go. But there y'all go, man. Got them cleaned up. So I hope y'all enjoyed the little adventure here. I know it wasn't the most exciting getting getting uh, to see brass get washed, but I was really impressed of how far it came. Uh, just using that Franklin uh, Frankfurt Armory uh, wet tumbler and the Dawn and Lemmy Shine. That's the way to go, man. So uh, if y'all enjoy these videos again, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to me. Next up on the on the list on the reloading videos uh, should be me. Uh, De decrimping these things getting them sized up getting them trimmed uh and then we'll throw them in the uh, vibratory to dry tumbler with some corn cob media and get them ready to start reloading them big time so again if y'all like these looking forward to more of them hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up leave me a comment down below what you think was you expecting them to come out as clean as they did from this mess here 
Uh, if you got any other little suggestions I could have done different or what I done or any something you seen I done wrong or could have done better, let me know down in the comments. Uh, uh, mention again, I'm going to have some Amazon affiliate links down below if y'all are interested in any of that stuff. It's stuff that I personally use. So, um, you know, I, I, I definitely recommend anything I put down in the comments in my affiliate links. And even if uh, I've mentioned before, even if you don't need some, any of that stuff down there, if you go through them links, anything you buy off of Amazon by going there through them links, it get I get credit for it. So y'all check that stuff out uh stay tuned for some more reloading videos gun videos and all kind of all kind of gun stuff videos y'all know how i am so make sure you stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon